It's another quick turnaround for Seattle Rain FC. Just four days after beating the Portland Thorns, Seattle comes home to Memorial Stadium Wednesday night for their first meeting with FC Kansas City. And after the Portland game, I think it was evident that a lot of the players were tired and a lot of them needed a little breather. So we've been able to give them that at, at the same time, being able to get some a lot more video in than normal and, you know, get, give the players a lot more detail, um, which, you know, at this stage with how our schedule has been, I think that's important as well as, you know, making sure that they're ticking over with their, the physical side of the game too. Practice uh, the last couple of days, uh, we didn't do anything super heavy, uh, but you know, with that said, I don't really think we need to do any be, be on our feet for you know long periods of time and go over a whole lot because at this point in the season, uh, we've had so many games in such a short amount of time that there's not a whole lot that I uh, think that we haven't come up against already. So, uh, in terms of preparation for this games, it was relatively uh, you know light sessions, um, but you know we we prepare a lot via film and and you know just tactical stuff that we go over with Laura. So I think we're ready. Well, I think as a professional, you have to be able to handle that. I mean, obviously, the way the schedule works, you know, sometimes you just don't have the luxury of having a week of training to prepare for each game. So as professionals, we've got to handle that. I think you would want to have that kind of preparation. Um, but uh, Laura does a good job of keeping us focused and, and doing the right things for our bodies, but also preparing us for what we're going to see. So I think we've gotten the work in that we needed to do. Um, and sometimes that work is letting your body recover, especially after the, the schedule that we've had. Um, so I think we're ready. FC Kansas City comes in winners of two of their last three matches and sit in second place in the NWSL table. Forward Amy Rodriguez has paced the club with her league-leading six goals, including a brace in Sunday's 2-1 win against the Spirit. Reigning league MVP Lauren Holiday has been the creator thus far with three assists. The tandem will be a focus for Rain FC's defense come Wednesday night. When we didn't have Amy Rodriguez last year, we knew it was going to be a big blow to us, and I think she's proved that. And, uh, and Holiday... Last year was MVP for me, standout MVP of the league. And I think she um, was a bit quiet the first couple of games, um, but unfortunately she's got her, uh, she's got her feet back. Um, so yeah, they're gonna, be, they're gonna be big parts of their game and, and they're, big, they're huge players for them. They're you know, huge players for the national team as well. And, uh, and we know their threats, but we know that if we can do our basic things right, like you know, keep good shape and, and work hard defensively, then we know we're a hard team to break down. The key to stopping any um, great attacking threat is to respect them. I think you have to respect what they've done. And I think as a, as a defender and as a defending unit, we have to respect the qualities that they bring and try to neutralize that as much as we can. And then use our attack as well to stop them from getting the ball as much. Because um, they're going to they're gonna be dangerous. So you've got to know the qualities that they bring um, and then try to neutralize those as, as best you can. Um, as, as a group and as a unit and that's the nice thing about this group is that we defend as a unit It's not just one defender. It's not just a back line. It's not just the the back six or a goalkeeper It's the whole group um, So I think that's how we're gonna have to do it using a whole team to, to defend I know Amy's been really on fire the last uh, few games I think she's top of the top of the league as far as how many goals she scored So I'm hoping that we're gonna we're gonna keep her from you know scoring any goals And then you know if we can try and shut down uh, Lauren Holiday, um, you know I think that that'll kind of ruin a lot of their chances that they're going to come or that they'll create just via those two players. So, um, you know, I think that's what we're going to try and do. But obviously, they're great players, and you know, it's it's much easier said than done. Megan Rapino and Steph Cox are still nursing injuries and are unlikely to be a part of Wednesday's fixture. I think Pino's still a, a little bit away. Uh, Steph will is a is a definitely a doubt, but um, we will wait to see till tomorrow to make a. A full decision on her, um, so she's not she's not like 100%. You know, not going to be involved. But um, I think we're in a position where this season's so got so many games in it in such a short space of time that you want to make sure that you, the players, if they've got little niggles and knocks and things that could get worse by pushing, that you don't want to push because you only want them to be out for the least amount of time possible. And if Steph has to miss one more game, but that means that she's healthy for the rest of the season, I think we'd take that. After three straight road games, Rain FC is happy to return to the friendly confines of Memorial Stadium. It's great being at Memorial, um, and the weather is just gorgeous, so it's nice being home and being able to enjoy it. Um, I think that, honestly, will help us relax as well and just um, come into this game ready to go. We'd said from day one that we wanted to make Memorial a special place, and we and we started off really well with the first three home games to do, to do that. And um, tomorrow is a chance for us to 
to get back playing the the football that we want to play in the in the environment that we want to be in and um, you know weather looks like it's going to be great too so it should be a, a fantastic evening for hopefully a good game of football.